Okay, in a circuit with 12 volts, there are two resistors of 4 ohms each. What is the current after the second resistor? So, um, when you're drawing this, you're going to draw your battery or your power source as lines like this. You're going to have one, and if you look back on the diagrams you were using before, one arm coming out this way and one arm coming out this way. Okay. Um, usually when we draw these, they're all in straight lines. And then the resistors are going to look like this. So basically a series of squiggly lines. And on this one we have, so 12 volts, that's the battery. And there are two resistors. So I'm going to draw two of these squiggly lines. And they're each 4 ohms. So I'm going to label this on here too. So this is 4 omega. This is 4 omega. All right. And we know that the cur or the circuit with 12 volts, 12 volts is current. So over here on the side, I'm going to write I equals 12 volts. I'm sorry, voltage equals 12 volts. I would be current. That was dumb. Okay, voltage is 12 volts. So um, we'll plug this in here. So 12 volts, 12 volts is the voltage. Um, now, two resistors. We're looking for the total resistance that the circuit has. Um, if there's two 4 ohm resistors, and what they just said in the last video is that if you add up um, the resistors, you'll get the total resistance. So all I have to do here is just do 4, four ohms plus... 4 ohms equals what? 8 ohms. Yeah. And that's my total resistance. Um, we don't know the current yet. That's what we're trying to figure out. Um, so we'll plug in the value. So V equals IR ohms law. Um, voltage is going to be 12 equals I, which we don't know yet. And then my total resistance was 8 ohms. Solve for answer, very similar to ones we've done before. So 12 equals I times 8. If I want to get I by itself, I have to divide both sides by 8. Divided by 8, divided by 8. These 8s will cancel out. So now I've got 12 over 8. We can simplify this pretty easily before we even go any further. If I divide the top and bottom by 2, let's do this over here. So 12 over 8. So divided by 2, divided by 2, what am I going to get? Why not 4? Or why not 4? Even better. Um, so if I divide the top and bottom by 4, even less steps, 12 divided by 4 is what? 3. Okay, 3. And then I've got yeah, 2 on the bottom. 8 divided by 4 is 2. So 3 halves. So if you can do this in your head, that's awesome. Um, but that's actually going to equal 1.5. Okay, 1 and a half. And the variable that I was solving for is I. So right over here, I equals, and then the units...